talk slow on this because I know sometimes I can talk fast and people never understand what I'm saying. So <clears throat> what's up YouTube is you're gonna write back again with another video. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel so you can get more videos. Okay, so <clears throat> so I'm gonna be doing a story time about the time that I saw a ghost in my room in my closet. So, I was laying down in my bed, and I just suddenly just woke up out of nowhere. You know those nights you just be waking up out of nowhere, like for no reason, you be waking up. I didn't have a bad dream or anything, I just woke up. <clears throat> so I had woke up, and I just started looking around, because when everybody wake up, they always click around. So I'm just looking around, you know, and I looked at my closet, and the door was open. I'm like, okay. Me, I don't like my closet door to be open. Especially when it's like dark. Because in that house that I lived in, when it was nighttime, we shut off all the lights. And it just be pitch black up in there. All the lights was off. And I just started looking at the closet because I'm like, oh my God. Like, I know. I know. I hate when I just hate it when the lights are off in the closet and the door is open. So I'm just staring. You know how you just be staring and then you be trying to like figure out if there's something there or you're trying to like make a shape out of whatever you're seeing. So that's what I was doing. I was trying to make a shape and trying to see what I was looking at. I'm staying looking around and I I just saw something in the corner of my eye just moved. So I hurry up and look back at the closet because I'm like, hold on. <laughs> uh uh. I'm not gonna lie. This might seem like, girl, you're you're stupid. You're not seeing no ghost. Girl, stop lying. No, I really did. I don't know if it was like a ghost or a spirit. I want to say a spirit. It was stories in that house, baby. I lived in the haunted house. Okay? Who lived in the haunted house before? Not you, but me. Mm. But, anyways. So I'm so I look back at the closet and I just see like a light blue blue lady like just staring at me from the closet. I'm not gonna lie, like I will act all this out. Like she was just staring in a closet, she was just looking like moving back and forth. I'm like, oh no. I'm like just staring, I'm like, oh no, like I'm just frozen. Cause when you're scared, you like you don't know what to do. Like I'm scared to the point I'm just frozen, like I'm just like just looking like what the mess like what is this the lady kept on like moving back and forth so she was moving back and forth and i'm like oh my gosh like this girl is getting closer and closer and like i'm like oh no, no 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 so i'm like looking at it and the more that i look at it it feels like it's getting closer and closer so i'm like oh my gosh like, i gotta get out of here i gotta get out and <clears throat> in the same room that I was, my brother was in that room too, and he was in another bed. So I jumped up, so I jumped up on my bed, and I ran to his bed, and I laid down in his bed. And then it looked like the ghost had came out. I came out of the closet, literally trying to say like, "What's up? Like, what's good?" And I'm like, "Oh no!" So I had ran off that bed. I was trying like before, um. I had even started laying down. I was trying to wake up my brother because I was like, oh, I'm not going to leave him up in here with this ghost because I don't know what this thing is. Like, I'm seeing this like it's real. Like, it's real. So I'm like, no, I'm not going to leave my brother up in here with this ghost. So I started shaking him a little bit, trying to wake him up. He's not going to wake up. I was saying he's a deep sleeper. So it was hard to wake him up. So I was just trying to stay there as long as I can with him so I can wake him up so he can, like, get out of the room with me. So I'm like, oh no, I gotta go because 
the more that I'm just staying there, just laying down, trying to like break up my brother, the more that the ghost had tried to come closer to me. So I'm like, oh, hell, mm -mm. I had got off that bed, jumped off that bed, and ran down the hallway. And as I was running down the hallway, you know how you get this feeling? Like, for example, when you be shutting off all the lights and you run upstairs and you feel like some something is chasing me behind you? That's how I was. So I was running down the hallway and I felt like the lady was just chasing me from behind me. I started <laughs> I started running faster and I started screaming, y'all. <laughs> I was so scared. Like, oh my gosh. Like, now that I'm thinking about it, it's like funny because it's like, come on now. It's funny. So... Yeah, I ran down the hallways, ran through the living room, and I went to my mom and dad room, and I had jumped on her bed. And when I had, I like busted through the room door. I busted through the room door, ran through to their bed, and I jumped on her bed. And then my mom just started screaming like, ah, I didn't. <laughs> oh my God, like literally, like literally, y'all, like for real. I bust my mom door open. <clears throat> Ran to the bed, jumped in the bed. My mom started screaming. My dad jumped up and ran to our room. I'm like, what? What are you doing? You gonna lay over here while she's screaming? <laughs> what? Okay, so, yeah. So, yeah, I had jumped in the bed. That happened. And then my mom was like, oh my God, what happened? What happened? And I'm like, I saw a ghost. I saw a ghost. It was a ghost in my room. And, you know, I was a child at that point. So, I don't think they really believed me. But, you know, probably had, like, a nightmare or something. But it wasn't a nightmare. Like, it was for real. Like, <clears throat> it wasn't a nightmare. I was actually running with my foot, my legs. Actually busted open the door with my actual arms. And, like, this was, like, for real. Like. So, yeah. So then, when my dad had, uh, went to, our, went to our room, he, um, screamed, Araya! So I came to my room and he was like what happened what happened he turned on all the lights and he was like what happened and i was like um i saw a ghost i saw a ghost and i demonstrated what the ghost had did let me show y'all that's the closet over there i'm gonna show y'all what, what the ghost had did like what i saw this how it was this how it was this how it was Uh -uh, we not supposed to do this, so that's why I ran. But anyways, <coughs> I had demonstrated it for my dad. He was like, oh, "Okay, all right." So he had left the um, he had left the light on in our closet, and he had left and I had laid back in the bed. I was so scared, y'all. Let me tell, let me not just tell y'all my story. Let me tell you what my brother had said. So, <coughs> and what my aunt had said about the house, because I live in a haunted house. I'm not gonna cap. Oh yeah. During that house, um, like every day we'll come home and we just hear like a whole bunch of stuff like in the attic just moving around. And we thought it was a raccoon because at our house, at, a, at that house, we used to um, have like a garbage can. We had those and we put all our trash in that can or whatever. And uh, we would have raccoons come and be messing up all our stuff. So we thought that one of the raccoons had went in the attic, like it was a hole in the attic or something like that. And they had one up in there because we didn't know what that was. It was like, no, just like, literally like that up there in the attic. I'm like, what is that? We just thought that it was like, you know where, um, I don't even know what it's called. But like a big old tube thing. And um, big old tube thing, you have a fire at the bottom of it. It makes, it let us have water in the house. One of those things, I don't know what the name is called. Yeah, we thought it was one of those, but it wasn't because one, one of those was in our um, laundry room. So we know it wasn't that. We thought there was something actually up there. So we called the exterminator to go up there, set up a trap so that, so that the trap can trap whatever that was up there. Let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all. This right here is my parents' story. Let me tell y'all. One day, I don't really think me and my brother was there. I think we were gone. But they had said that one day they just heard like a big noise, like rattling, like the loudest noise that they ever heard up there in the attic. 
it was just loud like the trap had caught whatever was up there the next day they had called the exterminator back <clears throat> to come check whatever was up there let me tell y'all they went up there and there was nothing in the cage i heard that they had put bread in a cage the bread wasn't even there y'all the bread wasn't even there no more the cage was closed like what happened y'all it was a ghost in my house like it was a ghost in my house y'all they had set a whole trap in the attic we had they had heard a whole bunch of noise in that attic when the exterminator came back the bread wasn't there no more the cage was closed the cage was just just like like it was like stone or something like that like that's scary like that's scary it was nothing in that cage like for real that's crazy so that's my parents story now my brother's story he had said when he was walking through the um it was like nighttime and he was walking through the um he was walking through the living room and through the living room and he had saw like a boy like a black boy not black but it was like a black and white ghost or spirit or whatever at the door y'all I'm not talking about none of this. It's probably going to seem like, girl, what are you talking about? You're just talking to make a story time. No. This is really a true story. Yeah, he just saw, like, a boy just standing there. That's basically what he just said. While he was walking through the living room, he had saw a black and, black and white boy just standing there in front of the door, just looking. Like, that's weird. If somebody would have told me that... I would be like shocked out like shocked out or like you lying you lying but this is like for real that's my brother's story oh my god Woo! so this is my aunt's story about the house so it was just my aunt my aunt was the only one that was there everybody else was gone in the house it was just my aunt there so she said she was just sleeping and she had woke up and she was in our room and she thought that her husband was there still at the house or um what my cousins was there her kids was there at the house but everybody was just gone so the door was just opening and closing opening and closing you would think that it would be the conditioner the air conditioner but it wasn't like okay the air conditioner can close the door can open the door but not frequently like that like no that's some that's some weird stuff not fast like that mm -mm. if anything it's gonna move slow <clears throat> and then close or you know so yeah she had told us that the door was like the door kept on opening and closing so she had called her husband name nobody answered she had called her kid's name nobody answered so then she started looking she was like then who was that she didn't see nobody. The door just opened and closed. So when she got up, that's when it finally stopped. That's when the door finally stopped moving. Y'all. This is some real stuff. Like, that's scary. So, yeah, that's what happened. That's four stories that happened in that haunted house. Yeah, I cannot believe it. Oh, my God. I tell people this story. So if my, if my story had switched up, I'm pretty sure it didn't because I tell everybody the same thing every time so mm, this death this stuff is real we do have ghosts in this world we do have spirits in this world ever since then i do not leave my closet door open when the lights is turned off i keep the lights off and my door closed especially at night time i don't since that day you will never see my closet open with the lights off you will never see me I can't even like put my lights on and just let the door just be open. I can't do that. that like it scared me to that point that I can't even put the lights on and just have it open. No, I have to put the lights off and close the door. It can't just be open while I'm just sitting in my bed. No. So that's the story of the ghost in my haunted house and other people's stories that they had in the house. So make sure that you like, comment, subscribe and share this video and tell your fish, your uncle, your dog, your cat, your brother, your sister, your mom, or dad to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.
talking about me I think I face I got body you name it I got it face I got body you name it I got it this shit could get ratchet I'm with some niggas that's gonna make it happen uh this that flossy D y'all rock suits that's bossy uh don't like me to stay off my shit uh ain't cocky as fuck everything about me I think I face I got body you name it I got it